St. John chapter 21. Verse 15, and it reads, So when they have dined, Yahweh said to Peter, to Simon Peter, Simon, son of Jonas, lovest thou me more than these? He said unto him, Yea, Lord, thou knowest that I love thee. He said unto him, Feed my lambs. He said to him again the second time, Simon, son of Jonas, lovest thou me? He said unto him, Yea, Lord, thou knowest that I love thee. He said unto him, Feed my sheep. He said unto him the third time, Simon, son of Jonas, lovest thou me? Peter was grieved because he said unto him the third time, Lovest thou me? And he said unto him, Lord, thou knowest all things. Thou knowest that I love thee. Yahweh Shai said unto him, Feed my sheep. First and foremost, I want to give all praise, honor, and glory to the Heavenly Father and His only begotten Son, Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem Rakak Wadash. Next, double honor to the head apostles, slash elder bishops of Great Millstone, the one that taught us the 100% truth according to the Bible. Peace, blessings, and safety to all you sincere occupants. Keep pushing, keep believing, keep the faith. Regardless of people here, forbear. If you love me, feed my sheep. I was just sitting back watching Elder Apostle Gabar's video, the latest video he did. Uh, one of his workout videos when he's out just riding a bike. He stops and does an edifying lesson for the hopeful elect of the nation of Israel, which consists of your so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans. And I won't do nothing just sitting around. Watching videos, doing nothing, winding it down. And then I was inspired through the spirit to do a video that was like feed my sheep. And what do we and what do we feed the sheep with? Let's just get that right quick. I'm gonna come back, Lord's will. Let's just get this right quick. The Lord said, Look, we, we either gonna be um hot, cold. You don't wanna be lukewarm. You either gonna be hot or cold. Let's just get this right quick. Cause the Lord said, feed my sheep, right? Told the um the head apostle Peter. If he loved me, he told him what to do if he loved him, right? This is Jeremiah chapter 3. Just something quick too, man, through the Spirit. Lord willing, the elect is edified. That's who we do these lessons for. And the word edified means to build. This is um, Jeremiah chapter 3, verse 15. And it reads, And I will give you pastors according to mine heart, according to the Heavenly Father's mind. And, and no matter how many times we read these scriptures, they, they never get old. They never get old. They never get old, no matter how many times I have read this scripture, man. It, it has never gotten old. I still love it. I still love to hear it. Just like when I first heard it from the elder apostles and elder bishops, you know what I'm saying, of Great Millstone, when they first read it to me, man, on the videos, right? Jeremiah chapter 3, verse 15. And they were showing Lord Yahweh Shai, Yahweh Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, that they loved them by feeding us with this word. You see, if ye love me, feed my sheep. Who are the sheep? You can go to Jeremiah, the 50th chapter. It tells you who the sheep of the Lord is. Israelites, right? Jeremiah 3 and 15. We might get that, Lord willing. Jeremiah chapter 3, verse 15. And I will give you pastors according to mine heart, which shall feed you with knowledge and understanding, which shall be the stability of thy times. What shall be the stability of thy time? What's keeping us stable? This word. You see? I just want to prove that too. I want to prove that. Let's go to uh, Jeremiah. Still in the book of Jeremiah. I think it's Jeremiah, the 50th chapter. Let me just see. So like, let me see. Jeremiah. Bear with me. Jeremiah. 50. Let's see. Let's see, bear with me. Let's see. Yep, Jeremiah, the water, Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Rakak Wadash, the water, the water, the water, all mine. Jeremiah chapter 50, verse 17. Let's just blow it up. Listen, listen, listen. Israel is a scattered sheep. So when the Lord said, Go feed my sheep, go feed my lambs, it's talking about the Israelites. 
The Israelites is been scattered throughout the four corners of the earth. The Israelite foreigners that may look like these different heathen nations because we have been scattered. You see, we look, look, Israel is a scattered sheep. We have been scattered throughout the four corners of the earth due to the curses, due to us going off. And the Lord said, go feed my sheep. That's why you got Israelite men being awakened. You see, being quickened with this word throughout the four corners of the earth. You see, Israelite men over there in Holland, Jamaica, Mexico, um, Puerto Rico, you, you name it. I, I, can't, I can't name all the spots. London, um, Germany, just everywhere, man. Um, Africa. You see, Israelite men everywhere. The Lord got his prophets everywhere because the sheep have been scattered. So we got to feed them through the spirit with this word. This is good. This, that, that now St. John chapter 21, that was a commandment too. You see? So let's get this again. Jeremiah chapter 50, verse 17. Because remember, feed my sheep, right? Israel is a scattered sheep. Then you know who the sheep that the Lord was talking to. Lord Yahweh Shai, who they gonna call Jesus, right? The lions have driven him away. First the king of Assyria have driven have devoured him. And the last, this Nebuchadnezzar. King of Babylon have broken his bones. But the point that I want to get out of that scripture is that Israel is that scattered sheep. So let's go back. Let's go right on back. This is um, let's see. St. John 21. Let's jump back down. If you love me, feed my sheep. That's what the Lord is telling us. You love me. I gave you the knowledge, wisdom, understanding the scriptures. Then, then go feed my people with, I just read Jeremiah 3 and 15 I will give you pastors according to mine heart Meaning his mind which shall feed you With the knowledge, wisdom, understanding the scripture. Our people need it more than ever Right about now, they need to hear this word And the Lord said you're either going to be cold or hot I'm going to get that too I heard Elder Apostle um, Tahar, that's one of his favorites I heard him say uh, earlier There's going to be a house cleaning That's the Lord doing that man That's the Lord speaking through him uh, the surely the Lord power would do nothing but he revealed his secrets into his servants the prophets and then going right back with his St. Luke 1 1 and 70 he has spoken old times by the prophets as the world began matter of fact let's just get that right quick I must be allowed to get that let's just get that right quick because the Lord ain't playing around with none of us look look he gave us a commandment feed my sheep St. Luke chapter 1 and the Lord said my um my laws are not grievous. My commandments are not grievous. St. Luke chapter 1. I just want to hit a point right quick. That the Lord speaks through his men. Uh, yep. Yep. St. Luke chapter 1 verse 70. As he spake by the mouth of his holy prophets. So how does the Lord get a message across to his people or to, or to anybody? When the Lord want to speak to you heathens, he sent forth his servants a prophet, just like he did Moses. You see? He sent forth Moses to speak to Pharaoh. Let my people go. But when words can't teach, adversity will, adversity will right? St. Luke chapter 1, verse 70. And like I said before, I won't do nothing but just sitting back watching videos, edifying videos from the elder apostles slash elder bishops, a great minister, and the men on down, and the affiliates. Just getting fed. We're constantly getting fed daily, man. And sheep, one thing about a sheep, it has to eat every day. It has to be fed every day. St. Luke chapter 1, we got to feed our people what's risen with the happiness. What's going on? We the news forecasters for Yahweh Bahashim Yahushua. We got to let our people know what's going on. We the watchmen, right? Can't have a watchman that ain't blowing the trumpet. He's sitting there with a trumpet in his hand, but he ain't never blowing it. Look, look, replace that watchman then. If the watchman got a trumpet in his hand and he's not blowing it, what is the Lord going to do? He's going to replace that watchman. And put a watchman up there that's going to blow that trumpet St. Luke chapter 1 verse 70 And it reads as he spake by the mouth of his holy prophets which, which have been since the world began So who was in the garden speaking to Adam and Eve The prophets man Since the world began The Lord always had the prophets on the scene Feeding his people So I want to go back I want to finish this off I want to finish this St. John off And the Lord said do it without constraint uh, of a ready mind Not for filthy lucrative sake You see Feed them with the truth too no, Not with lies Not with gimmicks With the truth The truth is what's setting us free The truth according to the Bible St. John chapter 21 St. John And, I, and I, when I be doing my lessons um, Sometimes you know, so Pretty much all the time Through the spirit I try to keep it like calm But the Lord didn't give me a calm spirit So 
You try to fight it for as long as you can, but then you see that the, that's what the Lord, you know what I'm saying, you know. I mean, we rule of our spirits when we have to, you know what I'm saying, when we're out and about, but every time I do a lesson, I try to calm it down, and the Lord just make just get me back hype, you know what I'm saying? So, hey, look, that's, that's how the Lord want me to bring it out. So let's get, bring it out! St. John chapter 21, verse 15. So when they had died, Yahweh said to, to Simon Peter, Simon, son of Jonas, lovest thou more, uh, lovest thou me, it's like it. Lovest thou me more than these? And he said unto him, Yea, Lord, thou knowest that I love thee. He said unto him, Feed my lambs. And we just showed you Jeremiah 3 and 15. Feed them with the knowledge, wisdom, understanding of the scripture. And then in the apocalypse, it says, Give them the bread of understanding. You see? Feed them with the bread of understanding. So we give our people the understanding of what the scriptures is talking about. Just like when we go into the book of Revelation, the 13th chapter, verse 16 and 17. We give our people the understanding of what the M-A-R-K is, that karagma, that incision, that see him, and not to take it. That's what, that's what we feed our people. We let them know that all hell breaking loose. Jacob's trouble is fastly approaching. World War III, cannibalism, race wars, class wars, civil wars, all the above. And look, look, and we let them know that deliverance is coming. It's not all bad. It's, it's not all bad. We let our people know, according to the Bible, that we're going to have to suffer just like our Lord did. We feed them with that, man. You see? Just like um, the, the Apostle Paul said, he, he, um, he declared everything pretty much. You see? He didn't hold nothing back. Verse 16, he said to him the second time, son, Simon, son of Jonas, lovest thou me? He said unto him, Yea, Lord, thou knowest that I love thee. He said unto him, Feed my sheep. He said unto him the third time, Simon, son of Jonas, lovest thou me? Peter was grieved because he said unto him, Thou, because he said for him, to him the third time, Lovest thou me? And he said unto him, Lord, thou knowest that thou knowest all things. Thou knowest that I love thee. Yahweh Shai, who they eagerly called Jesus, said unto him, Feed my sheep. And the Lord knows if you are there feeding. The Lord knows. It's, it's easy to see. You just go to your page. You see, ain't nothing been done in a week, two weeks, three weeks, a month. That mean that mean you that mean you you getting cold. You see? The Lord, the Lord said, look, be the cold. I, I, I might as well get that. I might as well get it. I might as well get it. Let's just get it right quick. Lukewarm. And Apostle Tahar was going into on, on his lesson that he did earlier. It was a decree went out years ago of us at least doing three videos, no saying, a, a week. I mean, nobody shouldn't have to keep repeating that over and over and over and over. When you're on sleaze of each job, he ain't got to keep repeating something. Because if he do, he get rid of you and bring somebody in that's going to listen. You see, it's only three videos, three edifying videos. Revelation chapter three, three um ten minute edifying videos, or it could be short as long as it's edifying, or you could do more than three. You see, every man according to his measures, but brothers can at least do three. That's what the elder apostle was saying through the spirit. When it was really the Lord, you see, because feed my sheep. Revelation chapter three. You got you got Israelites. You know, that's why that's why I like going over scriptures, the same scriptures. It's nothing wrong with that because you got Israelites waking up every day. Every day you got a brand new Israelite, you know, multiple Israelites waking up to that nationality each and every day. They ain't never heard one scripture, so you can't be like, "Oh, I brought it." It's not our word. It's the Lord's word. The Lord wants you to bring out the same scripture a million times in a row. Then do it. Revelation chapter three. Let's just get this right quick. Revelation chapter 3. Let's see. Bear with me. Verse 15. Revelation chapter 3, verse 15. I know thy word. Little red letter. Lord Yahweh shall I speak in, who they even call Jesus. And shit, you think now, um, 10, um, 10 minutes, 3 10 minute video, that's only 30 minutes. Can't give the Lord 30 minutes of your time a week. You, you need to go. You need to go. If I can't give 30 minutes a week to Yahweh Baha Shem Yahweh to make three videos, then I need to go. 
But everybody want to be delivered, though, right? Everybody want a crown, right? Everybody want to be end up in a, um, a so-called UFO a spaceship, right? When it all go down, right? Everybody want to be fed during Jacob's trouble, right? But then the Lord say, feed my sheep. And then it's like, you know what I mean? Come on now. I know thy works. I know thy works that, that thou art neither cold nor hot. I would that thou, I would, I would thou wert cold or hot. So then, so the Lord's like, yo, you're either going to be on fire or not on fire, right? He said, you better off being on fire or not on fire, right? So then, because thou art lukewarm, barely involved. Matter of fact, let's just get a definition. Let's just get a definition. I might have to go to the anthem on if this don't pop up. Let's see. Just something quick through the spirit. Lukewarm. I ain't got the volume up. It don't even matter. Let's see. Lukewarm. Lukewarm. Timid. Uh, let's see. Showing little enthusiasm, meaning you're not even there. You see? You're not even there. Half-hearted, meaning double-minded. You don't know if you want to teach the word. You don't know if you want to be in the world. Unconcerned, you really ain't unconcerned. You, you really don't care about the sheep. If you're not feeding the sheep, you don't care about the sheep. Uninterested, you, you really don't even care no more. You, you ain't interested no more. It, um, you, you know how it is when you meet a girl for the first time, you're really into it. Because this truth is likened to a woman, right? But now, you know what I'm saying? You done been with her for a while, you know what I'm saying? It, it ain't the same. No, it's, it's supposed to be more intense now. Because this is our first love right here. Uninterested, uh, lackadaisical. You mean, you, you're you not even there. You see? Emotionless. You see? Passionless, limp. Laid back. This, this is most definitely not the time to be laid back. It's too much to talk about right about now. Unresponsive. Pretty much laying on the damn deathbed, really. You see? Look, look, look. Could care less. And anytime you go to somebody's page and they ain't did no video in like seven days, a week, two weeks, a month, you're like, yo, what the hell is going on with this brother? Is he all right? Dude, let, me, let me make a phone call to see if he's still alive. Because if he's still alive, he most definitely supposed to have some, some videos on them pages. Do we, do we need a new phone? What, what, what does a brother need? Do we need another pad? What does he need? Do we need help doing a video? And I ain't heard from nobody. So then, because thou art lukewarm, you, you really don't, even the phone chimed in, and the phone chimed in again, you really don't care, you're lukewarm, you, you're half-assing. A couple, a couple of pink, a couple of toes in the truth, the rest of your body in the world. That, that's what we be going on, you see? Neither cold nor hot, I was spirit thee, Lord said you lukewarm, neither cold nor hot, I was spirit thee out of thy mouth. And this is a fearful scripture. This is a fearful scripture. Real, real talk. You read that scripture right there. It, put, it puts fear in you. It's supposed to anyway. Like yo, let me let me get my let me get let me get my ass up and do something. Lord said, if I'm not doing that, you know what I'm saying, look, he gonna do something. If I'm not doing something, the Lord gonna do something. We're supposed to be warning our people. Let's just get that right quick. I don't, Cause I'm coming by to wrap it up. I just want to do something right quick. The Lord, you know what I'm saying, kept telling me, feed my sheep, feed my sheep. You see, let's get this. The Lord, like yo, the Lord, like yo, what have you done for me lately? Yeah, I, I saw what you did yesterday, but what, what have you done today? Did you feed the sheep today? The Lord, and if you didn't feed the sheep today, did you even think about feeding the sheep today? Because things happen, you got different job schedules and things of that nature. But you know, I, I, even on my job, I can at least get away for five minutes, right quick. I can at least get away for five minutes, Lord's will. I mean, thing, sometimes you, you can't get away, but shit, at the end of the day, by the time you get home, you got at least five minutes, ten minutes to do something right quick before you fall out. Because if you get home and you're tired and you know you're about to fall asleep, might as well do a lesson right quick to get it in. It feels good to do the will of your howl, Baha Shem, your howl, Shai. Let's get this. Ezekiel. I got one more after this. Ezekiel, Lord's will. Ezekiel chapter 3, verse 17. And it reads, Son of man. I have made thee a watchman to the house of Israel, a people before us a place. Remember, Israel is that lost sheep, that scattered sheep. Therefore, hear the word of my mouth and give them warning for me. Because the warning is going to end soon come. I don't know if you know that, you know that or not, but the warning is almost over. 
You can see that through the spirit of how about Shemel Shah. The one is almost over, man. Let's get this. This will be my last one right here. And Lord, one of the elect of the nation of Israel, which consists of your so called Negroes, Latinos, and they're making this edified. Let's get this. First Peter chapter 5, verse 2. Look, this devil going to make it mandatory that you take an um, a implantable device, a see him, a karagma. Written up in Revelation, the 13th chapter, verse 16, 17, in order to buy and sell. And we're telling you, according to the Bible, do not take it or you will be destroyed. All right? He's going to lock it down again. He's going to lock it down again. It ain't going to be no clubbing. It ain't going to be no shaking your ass. It ain't going to be no shit. It might not be no more going to the grocery store. Or, no, or none of that. No more theme parks. No more beaches. No more vacation. The Lord said, give them one from me. First Peter chapter 5, verse 2. And, and the Lord said in uh, Romans, the 12th chapter, verse 1, it says, make, make our bodies a living sacrifice. So we can't be taking no weekends off either. We got to be out there on that, on that post, you know what I'm saying? On that block, you know what I'm saying? Teaching week in and week out, Lord's will. Instant in season, out of season, right? First Peter chapter 5, verse 2, and it reads, feed the flock. Who's the flock? Who's the sheep? Israelites, feed the flock of the Most High, Yahweh, through his only begotten son, Yahweh Shai, which is among you, taking the oversight thereof, not by constraint, but willingly. We want to do this thing willingly. Nobody shouldn't have to hit us, hit us upside our head, you know what I'm saying, for us to do a lesson, or they got to hit us upside our head, you know what I'm saying, or, or kick us in our ass just to make us go to camp. No, we want to do this thing willingly. Not for filthy, lucrous but of a ready mind. So I just want to bring out that real quick. We, we constantly wanting our people. We're constantly feeding our people. I, one more, Lord. All right. I, I, I see what the Lord wants me to do. I already see. Let's just get this. Let's get this Isaiah right quick. Because it's knowledge, wisdom, understanding. It's really keeping us stable. This will really keep our people's mind stable. The elect, man. And look, we're speaking from experience. I know I'm starting off with the elder apostles slash elder bishops of Great Millstone and the men on down. And younger brothers like me, they've only been around for a little while. Just knowledge, wisdom, understanding of the scriptures has really kept me stable in dire straight in situations where I wanted to go the hell off and scream and just, you know, get all out of character. Thinking, thinking upon the scriptures helped me out every time, man. Isaiah 33 and 6 and wisdom and knowledge of the scriptures that I, that I have been fed with, that I'm constantly being fed with each and every day. We got to love to do this. It's a commandment. We most definitely fear the Lord. That's why we do it. But you got to love to do it. You see? And he that believeth on me at the scripture I have said out of his belly, meaning his mind, shall flow rivers of living water. It's a whole lot. World War Three about to pop the hell off. You see? These race wars, we got to prepare our people's minds for what's really coming, whether they take heed to it or not. At least you warned them. This devil about to come in like a madman. He already started already because he know he only got a short time to rule. But his wicked rulership is over, man. The triumph of the wicked is short and the joy of the hypocrite is but for a moment. We got to tell our people of these things. We got to let them know who the Edomites are, who the Israelites are, who the Hamites are, the Ishmaelites. You see? The, um, who else? Ishmael, Ammon, Moab, yeah, and whoever else I couldn't think of right about now. You see? But all these heathen nations, we got to let our people know who they are and what, what, what their plans are for us. And what the Lord's plans for this place, Babylon the Great, the mother of hearts. The Lord's going to destroy this place. So we got to warn our people. Isaiah. 33 and 6 and look and, and look and we got to bring out those proper names in the hebrew tongue we got to let our people know what the true biblical names uh, proper names in the hebrew tongue is of the heavenly father and his only begotten son yahweh he is he exists who they ignorantly call god yahweh shy who they ignorantly call jesus he saves he delivers man we got to give it to him like a ti is man we can't play around with the heavenly father or his son's name man or the only begotten son's name that's our lifeline. No name, no salvation. Isaiah chapter 33, verse 6, one more time. And wisdom and knowledge of the Bible shall be the stability of thy times. Having this knowledge, wisdom, understanding in our heads, this is what's going to get us over that hump. This is what's going to help us. Look, look, on top of faith, having faith in it. 
So, Because we got to let our people know, according to the Bible, the only way you're going to believe in this word is through the gift of faith. The gift from the Heavenly Father, the Most High, the gift of faith. That's the only thing that makes us believe in this blessed word. It's faith, man. And wisdom and knowledge of the Bible, not of the Egyptian book of the dead, them Kemet books and all that. And all you Kemites, all you Negroes that believe in that Kemet nonsense, you will be brought low. At least you repent. Each and every last. Take them damn unks off and throw it in the trash. Take them damn unks off and bury them. You see? Take them unks off, you know what I'm saying? And, and whatever um, designs you got on your face. You Catholics, you Israelites better get out of that Catholic nonsense, that Jehovah wickedness nonsense, that Baptist nonsense. You see, all that Mormon nonsense, Scientology, Egyptology nonsense. Get away from it now. And get this knowledge, wisdom, understanding of the scripture so you will be stable when, when it really go down because it's going down. This is what's going to keep us stable and strip of salvation, the fear of the Lord. Yeah, how with his only begotten son? Yeah, how with Shai is his treasure? We most definitely got to teach our people about the fear of the Lord. Fear Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai. Do it now. So yeah, so yeah, Lord willing, the elect is edified because that's why I, uh, I'm just doing the lessons for the elect. I pray for the elect of the nation of Israel. I don't pray for nobody else but for the elect. The, the Lord said, I pray for them. I pray not for the world. You see? So our Lord and Savior said, he's not praying for the world. I'm not praying for the world. And you can't make me pray for the world. I'm praying for the elect. He said, he said, he says, um, mercy and grace is to his elect. He said, he cared for his saints, which are the Israelites, but he have care for his elect, man. So Lord, one of the elect was edified. Look, Israelite men out there that has been given his knowledge, different measures, different talents. The Lord said, feed my sheep. You, 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 we don't want to make him angry. Feed his sheep. Shalom.